Hey guys, it's Acacia and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking all about boobies. So about a year and a half ago, maybe more, I don't even know. When was it? I got my boobs done. I had a breast augmentation. And if you have any questions about why, what size, uh, anything like that, I will link my old videos down below. I have my Q&A beforehand. I have a vlog of the surgery and then I have a one month post-op video. So check those out if you have any other questions. I will start with just the breast augmentation questions first and then get into breastfeeding a little bit later um, just in case anyone is just coming here for breast augmentation answers. And then at the end I will show you guys a visual of my scars and my boobs and all that handy dandy stuff. Also Jairus and the girls are watching Peter Pan in the background so sorry if there is any noise. All right so first we're going to start with let's see let's see first question is regrets about size shape anything in that matter doctor all of the above i have almost no regrets in um anything i think the shape and like the height of them is really great i think the size is really great the only thing that i think about sometimes is like i wish i went bigger just like a slightly bit bigger but this goes into my next question which is did your surgeon suggest your size and yes she did talk about this in my earlier videos but she said that this was the biggest size for her to feel comfortable putting in me um and with like how, the size of my boobs beforehand and the stretchiness of my skin she gave me like a range of like smallest i should go and biggest i should go um, and I went with the the highest one she suggested. So I, I can't really regret my size because I really wouldn't have wanted to go bigger than what she was suggesting. But also sometimes I'm like, I kind of want them to look a little faker. <laughs> um, but all in all, I'm really happy with what I got. How did everything heal? Everything healed really, really, really well. No complaints here. Like I said, I'll show you everything at the end, but um, I would say the one thing that still hasn't healed is I lost feeling, not like 100% feeling, but like 70% feeling right here. Um, so here's my nipple. <laughs> and then on the right side of my nipple, but all in all, it's not that big of a deal or difference. I don't really care. Can Jairus feel them or can you feel them? I absolutely cannot. Jairus absolutely cannot. I like literally, I'm just going to be touching my boobs this whole video, so get used to it, guys. I try to feel for them and I literally can't feel them anywhere at all. I also want to reiterate that I got my breast implants underneath my muscle, so I think that will have a lot to do with that. Um, because I think if you get it over the muscle, you'll probably be more likely to feel them. Did you recognize yourself? Do they feel like you? Like after the shock wore away, I felt like this is what I was supposed to look like. I don't know, like it feels like this is me and like who I look like and like what I've always imagined myself looking like. And when I look back now at pictures of me or videos of me where I don't have my boobs, I don't recognize that person because I'm like, what? I've always had these. What are you talking about? Like that's insane. Um, so I feel like they feel more like me than my old boobs did, even though obviously I was born with my old boobs. Any breast implant illness? I did not get any breast implant illness at all. Um, I was very weary about that. I would suggest before you get your boobs done to definitely definitely look into breast implant illness. Decide for yourself if that's, if that's a risk that you're wanting to take. And then I'll also look for the symptoms and see if those are happening to you. Just look out for that. I looked out for all the symptoms. I never noticed myself having them. The one big indicator for me to go ahead and go with it is my mom has had breast implants for 20 years and she's never had any issues and I figured since I'm her spawn, um, we have some of the same DNA and my body would kind of react a similar way. Obviously that's just a guess into the open air but it just made me feel a little bit better and so I decided to go with that. And those are all my questions about just specifically my breast augmentation but now I'm going to be talking about 
how they affected breastfeeding, if they did, and all that fun stuff. So the biggest question I get anytime I post a picture or video or anything when I'm talking about breastfeeding, people are like, can you breastfeed with breast implants? And the answer for me is yes. It all depends on your surgery. It all depends on your boobs beforehand. So for instance, if you get an incision around your areola or down through the center of your boob, the chances of milk ducts being damaged is quite high as compared to if you get an incision underneath your boob or in your armpit. And so I specifically wanted to get an incision underneath my boob so that and I told my doctor that breastfeeding was something that I wanted to do in the future. And so she was very careful with her surgery and how she went about things. This is specifically in relation to breast augmentation rather than breast reduction. I don't know anything about that. I don't know what that affects. Also, getting an implant underneath your muscle is very, very key. Has your milk supply changed at all? It has not, not even the tiniest bit. Um, I didn't breastfeed with Brinley, so I or even pump with Brinley, so I don't really know um, what my milk supply was like then, but I did pump with Rosie for two months, and I would say that my supply is better just because I, I breastfeed more frequently than I pumped, but it hasn't been affected in any way because of my breast implants. So if you're one of those girls that enjoys nipple stimulation and you're wondering like, will I have like a similar feeling when breastfeeding or will it ruin it? And I would say for me specifically, 100% no, not even a little bit. It's like a completely different sensation. Uh, I didn't lose any sexual feeling in my nipples. Like they feel exactly as they did before I breastfed, exactly how I did before I had my breast augmentation. Everything still feels the same in that specific moment. Nothing is affected you don't get aroused or have any tinkly good sensations when breastfeeding it just feels like you're feeding your baby and sex just feels like sex there's no like crisscross the only time that there's a little bit of crisscross is sometimes your milk will come in during sex and that kind of isn't the greatest feeling in the world um but it can happen did your boobs still get big with pregnancy and breastfeeding? Yes, they did. Actually, so I didn't have any stretch marks after my surgery or for the first year. It wasn't until the end of my pregnancy that my boobs grew a lot. And I now am covered in stretch marks on my boobs. I personally love them. Jairus loves them. I think they're so cool. So they grew quite a lot. And my skin wasn't used to having bigger boobs from pregnancy and implants at the same time. So a lot of stretching occurred. Just a general question about how breastfeeding is going. It is going great. Um, it was not the case at the beginning. Callie had a lip tie and a tongue tie, pretty severe ones. So we had those um, lasered <laughs> about a week into his life. And ever since then, things have been going a lot more smoothly. He also had jaundice at the beginning, so he had struggles falling asleep and actually getting the full amount. So. I was exhausted, he was exhausted, it was just not a good time for us. I actually quit breastfeeding on multiple occasions and was like, I'm never doing this again. But then I would keep my supply up by pumping and then I would feed him like twice a day so that he still remember what it's like to eat from me. And then it slowly just began to be more breastfeeding, more breastfeeding, more breastfeeding. Um, so I kind of 40% breastfed for a week and then I went back into like 99%. Um, we also stopped bottle feeding at night and now I breastfeed all night. He only wakes up twice now, which is really nice. But breastfeeding is going insanely smooth now. Everything is so much better and it's just the best thing ever. So it's going great. Any difference in feeding after implants? So any boob size can breastfeed. I just want to state that really fast before I go into what I'm about to say. But any size can breastfeed, it does not matter, it does not affect your milk supply. Anyone can do it. But what I did notice is that for me it's a lot easier to feed because before my boobs had no movement at all. Like not even the tiniest, tiniest bit of movement. But now I can like take my boob and I can like, like point my nipple upwards or downwards or to the side or to the other side which has allowed, you know, easier feeding for me because it, I don't have to have a baby like completely on top of me for my nipple to be in their mouth. He can like be a little bit lower or like laying in different, you know, directions and I can like 
I can adjust my boob to kind of help him out at the same time. Um, and before I wasn't able to do that, it was kind of like they could only feed in one spot and that was it because there was no movement. Do you ex Did you experience any sagginess after breastfeeding? And should I get them done before or after kids? So like everything, this really is gonna depend on person to person. I personally, I did experience sagginess from feeding. Whoa. I did experience sagginess, but in the best way possible. That was actually, I really, really wanted my boobs to sag a little bit from breastfeeding. I've always had <laughs> the perkiest boobs. Like there was absolutely no under boob ever. My boobs were always like very centered. And so like, you know that trick where you can put a pencil underneath your boob and it like stays there? I think that's so cool. Like I think that's really attractive to me. Um, and I've never been able to do that even after I got breast implants like ever They still were just straight out and nothing went down. There was no nice under boob But after I started breastfeeding and they started to drop just a little bit and they've dropped to like the perfect place Like exactly how I wanted them to drop It was a dream come true and now I can fit a pencil underneath my boob Now they like my skin isn't so tight anymore like it was after I got my breast implant. So now like they have a nice bounce to them, which I really, really wanted because then they look more natural because natural boobs bounce. Natural boobs usually you have like, uh, like a fold underneath them. And so I'm so happy that they do that now. But now I really need to wear a sports bra because if I go running even a little bit, like they hurt when they drop. My brain just goes forever. I'm like, I hear the question, I think of an answer, I think I'm giving the answer, but then when I watch myself back, I'm like, girl, get it together. You're all over the place. Anyway, should I get them done before or after kids? Like I said, this depends on person to person. So that's a really hard uh, question to answer. And I can't answer that for you because I don't know your body. Um, and I don't want you to waste your money, but I also don't want you to wait forever to have something that would make you really happy. So I understand that that's a hard decision. Um, and I'm sorry that I can't help you make it. Your favorite nursing bra. Oh, I wish I knew the name of it. I'll put the name right here once I look after when I'm done editing the video, I'll put it right here. I'll also leave a link down below to my favorite nursing bras. I also really enjoy the NYX nursing bras. Usually a lot of people like to have the bras that you can like pull under your boob. My boobs still don't allow me to do that. It always just slides back up every single time and that really drives me insane. So I personally, to I prefer taking my bra and pulling it over my boob this way rather than pulling it down. Or I really, really like the clasp nursing bras. I know not everyone likes those. I enjoy them because I think they're comfortable and it really allows me to get my whole boob out there. under as you can see there's a lot more under now here's my scar right there and right there so basically almost not noticeable and then when my boobs go down it's really not noticeable this side has pretty uh, big scars All in all, I'm really happy with the decision that I made. I think I would make it over and over again. I love how my boobs look. I love the changes that happened to them. I love my stretch marks on them. I love breastfeeding, even though it was one of the most difficult things that I've ever done in my life. So if you're interested in getting a breast augmentation, I would definitely watch my other videos. I would do a lot of research about breast implant illness. I would do research about your surgeon, just do as much research as you possibly can because it will only benefit you in making the important and clear decision that you need to have when going into something like this. But yeah, 
I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Stay rad, stay weird, stay beautiful.